How's it going? Coming at you with a new video. Uh, this week, uh, what I got for you is a little Pokemon PSA submission. So I've been holding on to some cards uh, my brothers, and I got a few of my own. Just waiting for PSA to have a TCG um, promotion, and they actually had one for the month of August. So I'm going to go through, show you the cards that we're submitting here. Um, we've got 20 cards total. Uh, hopefully for looking for a good uh, return most of the cards look really good shape a lot of them are older 99 2000 um, some back to 95 so won't let you wait any longer we'll go through it here and just kind of take a look these first four I believe um, are mine and I have another one a little bit farther down that I added later so um, the first two are the same they're both uh, Raichu's they're both hollows and they're both from the original fossil back in 99 non first editions uh, but both really really good looking cards so if you're gonna do those this first one's a little bit off centered um, second one centering looks a lot better um, but again real clean on the backs all around so pretty happy with those I'm actually gonna make sure I set it up so the more off-center one goes first sometimes if you give them a kind of a lob pitch right off the bat where they can ding something um, they're more inclined to sometimes give you a little bit better grades after that set their standards kind of lower and then you can kind of move them up so just something I've heard other people say and I've had some experience with it also so uh, next one's 2000 uh, it's a game promo you get this from um, I believe the Nintendo Power um, magazine um, this is a pro dark Persian um, hollow so these just came in that Nintendo magazine and that was from 2000 next one is a first edition base set Machamp hollow from 1999 it is the most common um, first edition hollow you can get right there but first edition hollow nonetheless nice and card centering looks good back has a little bit of wear on it um, so it's not going to grade a 10 but still pretty sweet next one is a 1995 Japanese Top Sun Scyther these were released in Japan before Pokemon came here in 99 this one is the green back they had green back and blue back on these really nice shape really good centering definitely a different uh, feel to the card than the regular Pokemon's next one is a promo black star birthday Pikachu hollow This one's from 2000. Nice hollow back on that. Next one is a 96. Let's see the back here on these original pocket monster cards before they were called Pokemon, actually. This one's from 96. This is the Japanese Mewtwo. That's also a hollow right there. Nice looking card. Edges look good. Centering looks really good. The hardest thing on these is the the hollow part. It just gets such fine little scratches over time. But most of these hollows all look pretty dang good. Not a lot of play on these cards, so that's pretty nice. This next one is a uh, Sabrina's this is the Japanese Sabrina's Gengar hollow that one's also that one's from 1999 actually nice and card a little bit left to right a little bit fatter on the left than the right um, that might dock it a little bit back looks good I do like the backs on these uh, these older ones a little bit better. All right, next is the American version 
of Sabrina's Gengar. So this one came out a year later. This is 2000. Another hollow. I see wider, wider sides on these than those pocket monster ones. Different card stock also. And you got the traditional back on there. Good backs. This is where they usually uh, can find some stuff because you get a little bit of whitening. You can see a little bit of whitening up around the edge, but for the most part, really good shape. Up next, we got the original 99 Blastoise Hollow, non first edition. Um, it is also not a shadowless, as you can tell by the side right over here. But a really clean looking card, a little fat on the right side, but overall, clean edges, nice clean back, very light play on this one. One of the original Pokemons right there, Hollow. Even though it's not first edition, still in decently high grade, still pulls good money. Next, we got another 99 original Pokemon, Venusaur. Hollow right there. So your three originals, your Venusaur, Blastoise, and Charizard. Your big three right there. Back looks good. A little bit of soft white up on that top right corner there. Nothing too crazy. All right. Next one is from 2000. This is a first edition uh, gym challenger, Erica's Ivysaur. Really clean looking card. Really good centering on this one. Look at the back, also good centering. Nice, clean, crisp edges, corners. Not much white at all on that. So that's gonna be a, that should be a nice high grade card right there. 23 year old card. In that nice of shape. Non-hollow, um, which also is gonna be a little nicer surface. Um, you won't see any micro scratches like you can see in those hollows and stuff like that. Uh, next we got an original 99, um, non-first edition, it's part of that big three. Um, this is the Charizard, nice shape, a little bit off-center, maybe 40-60, um, so you might be in alright shape on that. Edges look good, back looks good, a little bit of whitening on top. All right, next is the 2000 Japanese Neo 2 promo Charizard reverse foil. So your picture is regular, your outside all borders here are, got that hollow on them, that hollow foil. Nice looking, edges look good, centering looks good back looks good it's got that old school pocket monsters back on it all right this one is one of mine this one actually we pulled over this last Christmas this is from 2021 sword and shield um, evolving skies this is the Dragonite full art um, alternative art card right here Looked like really nice shape, centering looked good. This is pack fresh, so we ripped this out of a pack and went straight into a sleeve. Back looks good, edges look good on that. Centering looks good on the back. Hoping for a 10 on that, that would really be nice. Get that bad boy 10 slabbed. Add it to my little Dragonite collection. There we go, there we go. All right. We got a 2000 Gym Heroes Sabrina's Gengar. Had the one earlier. This one is actually a first edition. It's a hollow as well. A little bit fat bottom to top. 
Um, side to side looks good on your edges. Back looks nice, nice and clean. Good centering on the back. Real nice first edition right there. That should be a good one. All right, we got a 2000 Team Rocket, Jim, uh, not Jim Heroes, Team Rocket, uh, first edition, Dark Blastoise, Hollow. Really clean looking card. Centering looks good, top and bottom, left and right. Edges look really nice. Um, the hollow looks good. A couple, couple little micro scratches on there, nothing too crazy. A um, little bit of whitening on the edges on the back, but nothing too bad at all. Very, very light play um, if it was out of the case at all. Next we got a 1996, this is one of the Pocket Monster ones, uh, the Japanese Basic Blastoise Hollow. Some really nice hollow cards in here. Uh, again, centering looks really good, edges look really good um, for the age of this. 1996, this is coming up on almost 30 years, so uh, someone took real good care of these. Edges, corners, everything on the back looking nice. A little bit of whitening down here, but nothing too crazy. Got a little, little hair on the case there. A really nice one. Uh, next, we got a 1995. This is that Japanese Top Sun. It's a Kadabra. Uh, unlike that one earlier that had the green back, this one is a blue back version. I think. I think, I could be wrong, I think the greenbacks are a little more rare, uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not nearly as well versed on Pokemon. Uh, my brother knows a lot more than I do, um, and most people do, actually. So centering looks really good on this, edges look good. Nice looking card right there. Uh, next one is another 95 Japanese Top Sun, Hitmonchan. That is also a blue back. My brother didn't re see it off the bat, but there's actually like some ridging in here. It almost looks like someone almost maybe bit it or something like that. It's got like this little round edge on here, so definitely not going to get a 10, but um, there's no creases or anything in it, just kind of pitting, a little bit of divoting. Um, blue back on that. Everything else looked really nice on it. Got the good centering, good edges. Obviously that is going to cause a little bit of issue though on it. It's kind of hard to see in the case. I don't really want to take it back out of a case or anything like that, but definitely got some, uh, some surface issues on it. Still a really nice card. Looks good. Look real good in the PSA slab. So, uh, won't be the highest grade that's for sure. Um, but we are definitely looking for some high grades on some of these. Uh, 20 cards, I want to see, I would love to see at least like four tens. Uh, I think that's pretty generous if we would get four tens, but um, that would be awesome. But eights and nines are going to be winners on any of these, uh, huge wins. So uh, hopefully we can get some really nice grades on them. We will see what happens, uh, send them out here at the end of August. I believe they're sitting at about a two-month turnaround uh, when I do get these back. We'll do a reveal uh, and see how we did on them. I've never really done very many TCG cards. I did a few before um, and had pretty good luck, um, some tens and stuff, but it was all on modern stuff. I've never done any of the uh, vintage original Pokemon minus uh, one first edition Dragonite that I sent in. I think I got an eight on that, but there was definitely a little bit of edge issue and stuff like that. So. Comparing that to what some of these look like, I'm, I'm definitely hoping for some high grades on these. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I'll bring back the results, uh, hopefully within about two months, and we'll look at them together. So until then, have a good one. Hit that like, subscribe down the bottom. Uh, get notifications here. Next video is coming out. Have a good one.